This video comprises the difference between ELISA and ELISA pot as ELISA is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay is used to identify the antigen as well as antibodies. As in the case of ELISA pot, it is a more advanced form of ELISA which use some different technology to identify the antigen as well as antibody. So this becomes so interesting to know the difference between the ELISA and ELISA pot. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Biology with Agam Singh. So before getting to the difference, I just want to tell a common thing about both of them, the ELISA and the ELISA pot. That is both of them use enzyme linked antibodies in them and a substrate with them so that a substrate will uh, react with the enzyme linked antibody to show the specific color. Okay, now come to the differential part. We will first study the ELISA and then the ELISA pot. Okay. And uh, after that, we will relate the difference between both of them. Okay. So uh, in the ELISA, we have an uh, antigen coated well. An uh, antigen coated well means that a uh, container which is totally filled up with antigens. Now we add a specific anti sera to the container or the well, the anti sera, which contains antibodies, the specific antibodies, that is, that's it. So these antibodies will come and bind to that. I will make a antibody here that will bind to it. And the antibodies which not bind will uh, up, come upper side. Okay. Now in the, this is the first step. I can mark it out. This is the first step in which we can, we had take antigen coated well, antigen coated well and the specific anti sera which contain antibodies antibodies to a specific to it now this become the antigen and antibody complex and this antibody is called the primary antibody primary antibody okay this is the first step in the second step we wash it we wash the container so that the unbind antigens and antibody will washed up okay now in the second step washing washing is done that will wash up these antibodies and let the uh, antigen antibody complex be there. Okay. Uh, let's make it. This is antibody. This is also antibody. Now the antigen here, which will, uh, which is binded to it. This is the antigen binded to it. Okay. Antigen antibody complex is there. Okay. This is the second step in which we had done the washing. Second step. Now in the third step we add it. Uh, the second and the third step is uh, just like combined. We can see that. Now in the third step we add the enzyme linked antibodies here. Enzyme linked antibody means that this is the antibody I make it here. This is the antibody. Normal antibody. But it contains some enzyme linked here. It is linked to an enzyme. I, if I make it a red, this is the enzyme which is linked to this antibody. So this is an enzyme linked secondary antibody because primary antibody is here. There, there is a secondary antibody. So this antibody will come and bind to this. Bind to the anti, uh, the primary antibody. Okay, this will bind and this contains a enzyme that's why it is known as enzyme linked immunosorbent assay because this secondary antibody that is enzyme linked is attached to the primary antibody now after adding this this antibody uh, will bind to this primary antigen antibody complex okay now in the third step what we done now in the fourth step uh, what we done we add a substrate here what is the substrate Let's make it with the black color, okay? The substrate. The substrate is here. This substrate will bind to this antibody, uh, this secondary antibody uh, enzyme. The enzyme and the substrate will react with each other and show a glow, a glow with a color that is shown here as a, uh, as we can visualize in a plate. As we can visualize in a plate, this is a uh, this is that well. Then they will appear as a glowing 
colored whatever the color they get they glow just like this means that they show color so uh, after this we after measuring the color we can identify that this is the antigen or the antibody specific to that so we identify that antigen is present antibody is present so after that we will got that the disease is there or not okay as in the case of aids we identify the antibodies the specific antibodies that are produced against the aids virus by the body so uh, identification of these antibodies tell that this is this is the person uh, that is uh, patient of aids okay so this is the step this is the third step i had involved in this this is not required so this type of a spot is here okay He, this is all about the elisa now talk about the eli spot what is eli spot it is a modi it is a modificational or the uh, more more technological process than the elisa means that it is the advanced technology of elisa okay in eli spot what actually happens here we use the antigen antigen coated well here also we use the antigen coated well but here we use the anti sera specific to Uh, particular antigen or the uh, which contain antibodies but here but here we doesn't use this we use a uh, we use a specific antibody producing cells that's a key point you just have to remember that we use here the cell which produce antibody specific to particular antigen that's it so after adding this these type of cells in the antigen coated well these uh, cells start producing antibodies okay these cells start producing antibodies which will bind to the particular antigen here okay particular antigen to this here and after that we will do washing we have to do wash it so that these cells which uh, had produced the antibody will uh washed up here we uh, do washing for what so that the uh, antibody which ha which has not bind to the antigen will wash up but here the washing is done for for the um for the cells which are producing antibodies to that uh, they will remove from the well okay after washing the antigen antibody complex will remain in their place and the antigens which are not bounded and the cells will washed up okay so these are the antibodies which are linked with the antigens the specific antigens to them okay now in the third step this is the first step this is second step now in the third step we will make it here in the third step uh the enzyme linked antibody will be added to this antigen antibody complex okay so make it the antibodies here the primary antibodies here okay make the antigen binded to it okay now the enzyme linked antibody as i had shown here this antibody also is used here so this antibody will bind to it will bind to this okay this is binding of this antibody to that it contains a enzyme linked to it it is a secondary antibody here that's it so after uh, adding this we have to again wash it wash it so that uh, um, this is the fourth step washing so that the remaining antigens or antibody will uh, means that enzyme linked antibody which has not attached to the primary antigen antibody complex will washed up and after that i am making here the fifth step uh, this is we add substrate here the substrate again react with the enzyme and show a color here the spot is not small here the spot is bigger than the elisa here the spot is bigger more bigger here the spot is more bigger than the elisa which become more easily visible than in elisa so this is the latest technology so because in this 
we use the refine firstly we just have to uh, refine that particular anti serum and after that uh, antibodies we just have to find out and then we will add here we directly add the cells which produce antibodies so this is the difference that is more easier so this is more technical na that's uh, not a more technical here the, we use more technologies but here the less effort is done and more result is obtained as a, as more result is obtained as a bigger spot is obtained here uh, here is a small uh, a small spot is obtained so that's why it is known as ally spot because a bigger spot is visualized okay so um the second scenario which i am talking about that is it is the identification of antibodies here because we are adding the antibodies uh, whatever in a manner uh, these cells produce antibodies the, uh, there the antibodies are uh, are taken place so this is used to uh, identify the antibodies the second scenario is that it uh, that is used to identify the antigen this is used to identify antibody in the second scenario we use the uh, identification of antigens for uh, for that we have to use the antibody coated wells here we use the antigen coated wells but in the second we use the antibody coated wells and after that we um, in, in this in this we use the antigens we will uh, add antigens here we use the cells which produce which have actually which have antigens on their surface this these type of antigens on their surface here not but uh, we use the antigens which contains antigen on their surface here the cells used which contain antigens on their surface that's it so this is the second scenario means that here we can identify the antibody there they are when we identify the antigens uh, as we use the uh, different wells here uh, this well will become antibody coated wells okay antibody coated wells that's it so this is the second scenario i hope the difference between the elisa and elisa spot is clear in your mind if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and if you have any query then you can ask in the comment box down below and if you haven't subscribed this channel then subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos such like that thank you so much for watching see you soon